Hello guys, in this video I want to implement registration form using Java Swing JDBC MySQL example tutorial. So this tutorial I have already created and published on my website and I will be providing a link of this tutorial in a video description for your reference. So in this tutorial we will learn how to implement a registration form using Java Swing components with database connectivity and here we are using JDBC API to connect to the MySQL database and we use MySQL database to store the user registered data. All right. So here are the tools and technologies that we'll be using. So we use JDK 1.8 later and we will be using MySQL connector Java driver. So we are going to use MySQL database. So we need to have a JDBC driver for that, right? So we are using MySQL connector JDBC driver and we use JDBC uh, API uh, that is 4.2. This is the latest release of JDBC API and we are going to use Eclipse ID to develop this application. Okay. So look at here what we are building is we are building a simple java swing application with a registration form and we store the registration data into mysql database so look at here this is a screen and this is the basically a, a, a window and here we have a labels and text fields and button all right so first name last name email address a username password and mobile number so these are the labels and here are the text fields uh, we basically enter a data into a text field and here is the button and this is also a label so we are going to design this screen using swing components all right so first we need to have a database setup so first we create a swing underscore demo database in a mysql database server and next we create a account table okay so let's go ahead and let's uh, open mysql workbench uh, to connect to the mysql database server all right so i'm in a mysql workbench and let me create a database so so just to open this tutorial i have given a link of this tutorial in a video description so that you can just copy these statements okay so let me copy this statement to create a database so look at here the database is not exist so so let me create this database here so here we go so database is created let me refresh yeah swing underscore date demo database is created now let me create a account table okay so let's copy this detail script and here i'm going to execute this script so before that let me select this database and i will execute this statement yeah here we go so table is created let me refresh right click refresh all and here we go so account table is created under swing underscore demo database now our database setup is ready all right so now let's see the next step so now we create a simple java project in eclipse id and uh, we download mysql connector jdbc driver and we add this driver to the class path of our java project and then we create a application to implement or to develop a registration form all right so let's switch to the eclipse id and let us create a java application so i'm in eclipse id so in order to create a application java project just go to the file new java project and just give a project name as swing registration example hit finish yeah here we go so swing registration example is created now what we'll do is we'll just uh, download a mysql connector jdbc driver so just you know google just type mysql connector maven dependency and go to the maven repository here and just pick up the latest release of mysql connector jdbc driver and here you have two options you can download the jar file or you can copy the maven dependency so if you are using maven project then you can just copy the maven dependency or if you are using the gradle project then you can just copy the gradle dependency so we are using a simple java project so let me just download this jar file so just uh, uh, click on it it will download a dependency on your file system like this okay so let me add this dependency to the project class path so again go to the eclipse 
and right right click on the project build path configure build path and click on add external jars and look at here mysql connector driver jar dependency is added to the class path and here you can add, you know edit the gdk or jre okay hit apply apply and close now we have added uh, you know uh, mysql connectors which driver dependency to the project class path all right now our setup is ready now let's go ahead and let's write the program so before that let me create a packaging structure so just give up a package name as net dot java guides dot swing okay so now let's create a class and let's name it as a user registration right click on the package new and class and just type a user registration as a class name now let me copy this code so instead of typing line by line code what i will do i will just reuse this code and i will explain you this code okay so that we can save the time and we can complete this tutorial uh, uh, as soon as possible so that we can save our time so this is the screen we are developing right so let me um, relate a screen with the code so that you will understand easily so user registration is a class which extends a j frame so j frame is a just a it extends a frame component and it provides you know extra component architecture support so we can use a default implementation of uh, j frame all right and here look at here uh, as i mentioned we are going to create a label text fields buttons all right so for that we need to declare uh, here the components for example we are going to create a content panel and we are going to create a text field that is for first name text field for last name text field for email username and mobile and we are going to create a password so we are going to create a password text field so for that we need to declare the password field here and we are going to create a button so look at here the register button so we need to declare the register button so these are the components we are going to use to develop the screen okay so this is the constructor within a constructor we are going to write the code so look at here the set icon image okay so this is the method which we can use to display an icon for the windows here this is a close button so once we click on this close button or a close icon then the jvm will terminate the swing application or a swing program okay and here we just set the bounds uh, this is the height and weight and x and y so if you can go to its implementation so look at here x y width and height okay so just we provide uh, all these parameters in order to uh, you know size our window and we create a panel here and we provide a border for the panel and we set the panel to the sent content panel okay and we are we are using default layout so that you can just patch panel here and look at here the screen so new user register so this is the label right so for this we need to write a code like this so label and specify label name here and specify a font for the label and specify the width and height for the label and and just add this label to the panel like this okay so now we have created new user register label all right so let's go ahead and let's create other labels like first name last name email address etc so for the first name the steps are same we first create a label object and we pass the label name here and we provide a font and length uh, width and height and we add this label to the panel and for last name also the same so we create a label with last name as a label name and we provide a font name height and width and we need to add this label to the panel 
and for email address also the same steps we create a label object and we specify label name here and we provide a font and height and width and we add this label to the panel okay so now we have created a first name last name and email address labels okay so now let's create a text fields for these labels so for that we need to use a jtext field uh, component to create a text field so just create a text jtext field object and just add a font here and height and width and add this text field to the panel and here specify a columns as a 10 here okay so this is for first name and let's similarly do it for the last name so we just create a jtext field object and we specify font height width and we add a last name text field to the panel here similarly do it for email okay so pretty simple and similarly do it for username and now we create a user label and password and mobile okay so now we have created username password and mobile labels and let's create a text field for the same so here we create a text field for mobile and password all right so i i hope you understood so we just create a label and uh, we create a text field for the label that's it the steps are same now we have created uh, all the labels and text fields now let's create a, a register button so in order to create a register button we use a j button component or a class so just create a j button instance and just pass a register as a button name and look at here add action listener okay so once we click on a register button it will it will perform some action right so for that we need to implement add action listener interface and once we click on the register button it will uh, you know a register uh, it will store all the register data into a database okay so that logic we need to write here uh, this is the uh, action listener interface and just we are providing a uh, implementation here and this interface provides action performed method and here we are going to implement this method so what we are doing is this is a first name so this is the text field right so that we have created here okay and whenever we enter uh, some data into these text fields we can get this data by using a get text method okay and we store it in a first name and similarly for last name we get a last name text field data by using get text field method and we store it in a last name and similarly for email address username mobile number okay and we get a length of mobile number here and similarly we, we get a password text field data and we'll store in a password uh, variable okay okay so look at here uh if the mobile number is uh, not equal to 10 so basically mobile number uh, the length of the mobile number is 10 so if it is not 10 then we show a error message like enter a valid mobile number okay and here we are going to connect to the mysql database using jdbc api all right so look at here uh, we are using get connection method to connect to the mysql database and driver manager will provide a get connection method to establish a connection with the mysql database and here we are providing jdbc url using our password and look at here swing underscore demo is the name of the database okay and this is the insert sql statement and account is the table name and we are going to store all the registration data into account table it's pretty simple right and here once we got a connection object then we can create a statement object by using create statement method and we execute this statement object using execute update method and we just pass the you know query here so this will execute this query and it will return the number of records inserted into database if the record uh, are zero then we say that uh, the record is already exist and if the record is greater than zero then we say that a user account is successfully created and we close the connection that's it's pretty simple uh, program swing program which performs a uh, user registration 
uh, functionality all right okay great so here is the main method to launch the application so this is the entry point of our java program and here we are creating object of user institution class and here it will call the constructor and here this logic will be executed all right so let's go ahead and let's run this java application or a java program so right click run a java, java application so look at here this is the screen now let's go ahead and let's enter uh, the data into a registration form so let me enter first name as Ramesh and last name is Furthery and email address as Ramesh at the rate gmail.com and username I say Ramesh Furthery and password just enter password 123 and mobile number you can enter any 10 digit number here okay and once you fill up the registration form just hit register button here so i'll just hit the register button here and yeah so here we go user account is successfully created okay let's verify the data inserted in the mysql work, you know database or not so let me switch to the mysql workbench here so let me just refresh the account table yeah here we go so look at here the user registered data is successfully stored in the account table so this is how basically we create a swing application with the registration form and we use a gdbc api to connect to the mysql database and we we basically use a registration form to submit the users user registered data all right so pretty simple java program so we just need to create a class which extends a jframe component and we need to create the text fields and labels and buttons and then we need to write a jdbc code to store the register data it's pretty simple java application all right so you can you can get the source code of this tutorial from from this write-up tutorial on my website so i'll be providing a link of this tutorial in the video description so that you can get or you can just go to the this tutorial and you can just copy the source code and you can just refer the steps and if you want to know more about this tutorial you can just uh, read this tutorial all right so i hope you found this tutorial useful if you have any uh, issues while implementing this tutorial let me know in the comment section i will try to you know uh, uh, solve your issues I will be creating uh, same tutorial using Java Apex in uh, upcoming videos. So just stay tuned, stay tuned, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Whenever I will publish such videos, you will get notified. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.